Let's say if the mall trying to close. You check the mirror to make sure that your clothing fits. When you do this, do you ever wonder how mirrors work? First, let's think about exactly what a mirror is. A mirror reflects an image of whatever is in front of it. The reflected image is made up of particles of light called photons. A photon is a particle representing a quantum of light or other electromagnetic radiation. When a photon of a light hits a mirror, it causes the electrons in the atom to vibrate and give off an identical photon of light. This light is reflected back to you directly. There are mirrors all around you. Puddles, windows, a shiny clean car, a silver teapot, and so on. And what do all these objects have in common? They all have smooth surfaces. Most mirrors in our everyday life have three layers. The bottom layer is a dark protective layer. The middle layer is made of metal, usually aluminum, like soda pop cans. This layer is very important. And the top layer is glass that protects the smooth aluminum layer. Now, let's look at a funhouse mirror. Funhouse mirrors differ from normal mirrors because funhouse mirrors bend, twist, bulge, and fold. The angle of a funhouse mirror determines exactly what kind of distortion is created. These changes are caused by distortion in the way light reflects off that mirror. The secret behind a funhouse mirror is perception. The brain is trained to assume that rays of light that the eyes perceive have arrived directed and not been reflected. So in a normal mirror, this, there seems to be no problem and the image appears normal. But in front of a funhouse mirror, the brain makes the same assumption, but the angle of the light has been distorted. In that case, the brain is tricked to seeing the t image taller, fatter, thin, or short.